Joining us now is the founder and president of the American Center for Security Policy, Frank Gaffney. Good morning to you, Frank. Good morning. Is the war on terror over? I think it's delusional and certainly mis to say so. Uh, unfortunately, it's really not a surprise, I think, because what's going on here is if you, if you define down the problem, uh, you're, it's easier to say you've solved it. If you say it's just al-Qaeda and we've killed a bunch of al-Qaeda leaders, to be sure, well, then you can say, well, that's that and we're, we're done. Here's the real problem. And by the way, we revealed this in a course that we put online yesterday for free at MuslimBrotherhoodInAmerica.com, a 10-part, very serious look at this issue. If you miss, as we are as a nation, the fact that the Muslim Brotherhood is the primary mover behind something called Sharia, which is animating both al-Qaeda and a lot of other jihadists in their war against us, this is to say we're missing the whole piece of the war called civilization jihad, a kind of stealthy pre-violent effort to do the same thing that al-Qaeda wants to do, which is to destroy us and, and impose Sharia on us. So this is really the key part of it, and it's very worrying that the State Department is putting out this word because it suggests that Muslim brothers in the government, as we document in this course, or at least closely affiliated with the Muslim Brotherhood, who are advising, some of them are in office, some of them are people who are responsible for our outreach to the Muslim American community are, are promoters of this civilization jihad and that's a very dangerous thing for us to be ignoring. But John McCain and uh, Lindsey Graham visited them when he went to Egypt. They came and visited the White House. As Americans, should we, should we think that the Muslim Brotherhood is moderating its views? Well, I think we have to go by what they say, particularly what they say for their own consumption and that of uh, fellow Muslims. And that is that their mission is to destroy Western civilization from within by our hands. This is a strategic plan that was introduced into evidence in court in a Holy Land Foundation trial. It's of what they're really about. And I think anybody who tells you that they're moderate or that there's a legitimate Islamism that is somehow now going to come forth and we're going to be able to live with it is, again, Frank, deluding themselves and seriously misleading us. But, but, Frank, let me ask a sort of bigger picture question, which is sure. if the war on terror is over, then the New York Police Department, for example, is wasting a lot of money and effort in trying to thwart a bunch of domestic terror attacks, 14 at last count. Why are we even employing people to look into it? Well, of course, 14 attacks that were stopped yes. is the point. They were going on. There the were five over, terrorists arrested the... yesterday in Britain. Gretchen, the point is, this is not over. Just apply a modicum of common sense, and you realize that even the violent part of this war is not over. And those who are telling you it is, I think, are, are doing this perhaps for cynical political reasons, or, mm -hmm. or maybe they're promoting the Muslim Brotherhood's agenda. I don't know. But here's the point. It's not okay. just the violent part of jihad we have to worry about. About it's the civilization or stealthy part right. as well. And now they get to be, uh, have a uh, formal role in government. Uh, Frank Gaffney, thanks so and much. And here, too. Thank you. All right. Uh, coming up straight ahead.